welcome back guys we are out test driving the bobcat mark ii we are almost done uh, and this engine seems far less powerful than uh, the other engine that we had uh, which i feel like it didn't say anything about power which of course it should it should say something about horsepowers or something on the engines uh, but this was uh, this engine was supposed to be faster and uh, better at cross country and everything, but it seems like it's much less powerful than the uh, other engine that we had. And I just missed a shot. There we go. Because we really struggled to get up and down hills. Well, up hills, not down hills. Alright, so waypoints 210, soft targets, uh, hard targets 3 out of 4, because that one is after the finish point. Uh, so it's basically the same. Exceptional performance. Alright, so that is done. Uh, I feel like we should order some more materials. I feel like we should order some more materials. So let's order, let's go Africa. 9,000. Medium carbon steel. Let's go 8,000. Rubber. Go 4,000. High carbon steel. Let's just go 2,000. Glass. We'll do 1,000. And that's that. And sign that order. 17 days. Uh, we don't have any contracts to do right now. So that's that, I guess. Is there anything we can engineer right now? Uh, we've already done that. We've already done that. We don't, can't do anything there. We can't do anything there. We've already done that one. And we've already done that one. So nothing new. So let's just keep going. Bobcat Mark II Trank Trials are done. I really wish we could see what their stats are. Uh, any new administrators available? No. All right. Now the question becomes, can we afford to build something? Like, for instance, the uh, sub-assembly line here. 90,000. The riveting hall is cheaper. Only 60,000. You know what? We'll build that. And hopefully not run out of money. World news. A new trade agreement has been signed. Ottoman Empire and British Empire have signed a comprehensive, comprehensive trade agre agreement symbolizing their shared commitment to fostering robust eco economic cooperation and facilitating mutually beneficial trade relations. This agreement aims to enhance market access, promote fair trade practices, and create new avenues for economic growth and prosperity for both nations. All right. You know what? I think we'll just delete all these we don't need to have everything there so there we go uh, two weeks delay on our stuff uh, uh, let's go to uh, achievements to one Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. 
World news. New Army Corps introduced. France has ushered in a momentous chapter in its military doctrine by introducing a groundbreaking new type of Army Corps, combat engineers. This significant development reflects France's unwavering commitment to strategic evolution and its relentless, relentless pursuit of tactical superiority on the battlefield. All right. Still no contracts. We want contracts. Military campaign in Kivu between British Empire and Belgium has started. The campaign in Kivu is now underway. British Empire and Belgium forces are rapidly mobilizing and battles are sure to break out soon. High Command will provide detailed battle report to the, to the manufacturers of all involved tanks, including yours if they happen to be on this field. Okay. A new alliance treaty has been signed. British Empire and Netherlands have officially ratified an alliance treaty, affirming their, un their unwavering dedication to mutual, mutual cooperation and defense in the face of the upcoming challenges. The treaty serves as a cornerstone for fostering enhanced diplomatic relations and fostering military collaboration between the two nations during this pivotal historical time. All right. Okay, and more news. Military campaign in South Aegean between Ottoman Empire and Greece has started. The campaign in South Aegean is now underway. Ottoman Empire and Greece forces are rapidly, are rapidly mobilizing and battles are sure to break out soon. High Command will produce, provide detailed battle reports, blah, blah, blah. British Empire announces a new contract for 20 tanks. Nice. A Vanguard tank. Okay. For the 3rd Battalion. All right. Contracts. I think... Wow, 550 success score for the Bobcat Mark II. That is nice. So I think we can increase the price here a bit. Let's say 3250, 12th of April. So there's a long time to go. So that's basically, if we do like this, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll just leave it at the 12th and we'll do that. 412 success store. Do that. Let's see. A series of low. Uh, Battle of Bakukabu between British Empire and Belgium has begun. A series of low intensity assaults and artillery barrages have been reported all over the front of Bukabu, where the British Empire's troops are looking for a flaw in the defense line of Belgium's armies or distracting them from another assault. It's hard to say. Uh, all right, that's good. We are done with him telling us what to do. So, battle reports. Uh, no tanks have been deployed. Oh yeah, we have the Bobcat Mark One there in Kibu. Artillery, cavalry, infantry, nothing in the South Aegean because that's not us. But we do have the second battalion there with our Bobcats. Well, let's start building some Bobcat Mark IIs. Twenty of those. It'll take 38 days. And let's see if we can get another 39 workers, which is in here. We can hire those guys. Uh, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. But, well, now we can just basically go up to 450 there. And it'll now take 35 days. But our 
the riveting hall is done. All right, medium hull research done. Uh, let's do let's do the improved common rounds so that we can get up to the better guns. Accepted. All right. And we are already building them. New tank revealed. William Foster has made the Athena Mark II. All right, the Rivington Hall is done. So now it'll only take 29 days. New tank revealed. Exploitation tank code name Odyssey Mark II. Uh, is it concluded? All right. Not our combat, though. All right. So we can see... There was no tanks involved, so... All right. Uh, Engineering Bureau. Uh, we want to do all the medium whippet. Yeah, ammo storage. Yeah, vision port. That's all good. Hull hatch mark two. We can do nice. And hold door mark two. All right, anything here? No, here, no, here, no, here. You will storage mark one, yes. But it can't go there. And here, tail wheels. They can't go on there as well either. All right. Why can't I assign this? Why can't I do anything here? Am I in the wrong? No, I'm in engineering. Ah, it was, I was on the wrong one. All right, fuel storage. Vision port mark one, ventilation mark one, hull hatch mark two, hull door mark two. We want a tail wheel on this. I suppose we do. And this will be the, yeah, the medium whip at Mark II. All right. That's fine. And the Battle of Bukabu has ended. Okay. Second Battalion showed to be superior. Noise. Uh, campaign points two. By George, the tank's outstanding performance across all fronts proved to be the key to our triumph, delivering unmatched uh, mobility, devastating firepower, and unwavering resilience. Nice. So, oh, we lost four tanks. But we got some fame. <laughs> the tank's woeful performance in terms of mobility proved to be a glaring weakness as it struggled to navigate challenging terrain and failed to keep pace with our troops. Okay. Um. 
first column available three. Okay. Deployment score minus 22 recon. Recon score minus 36. Ouch. The tank's lamentable performance in terms of mobility for disasters and its sluggish movements hindered our ability to seize opportunities. Targeting was very good with the Hotchkisses. Tank's remarkable ability to aim at the enemy was a sight to behold, striking fear into their ranks. All right. Uh, hit. Uh, did very well as well. The tank's exceptional performance in hitting enemy targets was a sight to behold, as it shots landing with, landed with devastating accuracy. And we got a bonus, multi-weapon bonus. The multi-weapon bonus is obtained as a result of using multiple weapons in the current battle phase. Every action weapon provides a 5% bonus. Ricochet, that's pretty good too. Tank's impeccable gun and ammunition selection proved to be our salvation, as rounds found their mark without a single ricochet. Very nice. Uh, penetration was pretty good as well. The tank rounds pierced through the enemy's armor like hot iron through butter, leaving them defenseless. Damage, very nice as well. The tank's exceptional gun and ammunition combination proved to be a force to be reckoned with as their explosive impact delivered devastating damage upon the enemy units. Nice. Repairs is okay as well. The tank proves to be a testament to British ingenuity as our skilled engineers work tirelessly to restore many battered machines after the battle. All right. All in all, a success. So now, I guess if we go to the world map, uh, tank cores. Yeah, so there's only 16 Bobcat Mark 1s left there. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully they'll want some resupplies at some point. Medium Whippet Mark 2 is done. Uh, did we get the uh, the low running gear as well? I don't think we did. No, not yet. All right. Okay. So that's going to be the next thing that we research, I think. World news. Battle of Chania between Ottoman Empire and Greece has begun. All right. We don't really care about them because we were not in it. Military campaign in that place between German Empire and France has started. Ogwe? Ogwe? I have no idea. Okay, and that is between Germany and France. So if we take a look, they have no tanks deployed there. In British Empire and Belgium. Okay. As entire sections of the front are turned to a hellish landscape by constant artillery fire, it is clear that Rutshuru has become the site of major assault by British Empire's forces. The defenders struggle to keep their nerves in the battle in the face of such brutal attacks. All right, let's see. Rutshuru. Oh, it's uh, not completed yet. Okay. World news. We need your help right now. Dire news indeed for your company as it appears you are no longer solvent. And I have no remaining funds. High Commander has deemed your company of vital strategic significance. So they are ready to fulfill your own financial obligations for a full month until you can have a positive capital again. But make no mistake, they will tolerate no overrun of this 30-day period. Okay. Well, we're screwed. Uh, another battle between Ottoman Empire and Greece, but we can now deliver our Bobcat Mark IIs. Uh, we just need to go here.
insufficient funds. So how am I supposed to deliver anything when I don't know have any money? Well, that sucks. Um, administration, we're going to have to take out a loan. I don't think we need that much. I can't type in there. All right, well, I'm not going to... Can I... No. It's in increments of 100. Three-year loan, annual bank rate. 15%. What if we go two years? Uh, let's do the three years. We'll just do, do the standard. Get that loan. Okay. Fifteen thousand. All right, well, at least we can deliver our bobcats. So that's good news. And I think maybe we need to order some more materials. Yeah, we kind of do. Right, let's order for let's sign that order for 10 bobcats oh no yeah okay fine 29 days from Oceania. I should have switched to Africa. But I forgot to do that. Battle of Port Gentle between German and Bayern. France has begun. A new alliance treaty has been signed between Germany and Sweden. Okay. Improved common rounds are done. So let's do... The low pass running gear start on that now if i i wish there was a financials tab well there is there monthly balance balance minus forty three thousand right but we're delivering new tank revealed by daimler Assault tank Odin aus A. Okay. Military campaign in South Aegean between Ottoman Empire and Greece has concluded. Uh, after heavy fighting, Ottoman, Ottoman Empire triumphed and has gained control over the entire territory. Okay. Contract for 3rd Battalion is completed. Okay. So that's 20 tanks delivered, and we now are solvent again. So that's good. I think we'll maybe just do no, we don't have the materials for it. We can build two. All right, fine, we'll build two. No point in having them not doing anything. All right, that production is done. The low pass running gear research is done. Um, hmm. Why does it say firepower mobility there? Not entirely sure. 
Uh, let's do the female mark one. Okay. And we'll go to engineering. We'll do running gears. We'll do the whippet. And we'll do the idler. Mark two or Mark three. Mark three is lighter. Not as good operational range, but better agility. So we'll do number three. Mud shoots are standard. Sprocket Mark three is better. Not at cross country speed, but everything else is better. And it's much lighter. Spring rollers, that'll be the Mark ones. And track inserts will do as well. And whip it mark two, that's fine. Okay. Let's keep going. That's the whip it mark two done. We got some more resources, but we need to order more right now. And we'll order from Africa. We'll order 9,000. We'll order 8,000. We'll order 3,000. High carbon steel. We'll order 5,000. Glass, we don't need to order right now. 68,000 that'll cost us. All right, devious new weapon spotted. Reports point to a deadly new weapon unleashed upon courageous soldiers. Men have been seen, been sent to a rear line, hospitals uh, gasping and coughing. Those that could still talk spoke of a green cloud smelling of Pepper and pineapple in their trenches. Mustard gas, okay. Nations have condemned this cowardly war form of warfare that if unleashed upon us will return in kind. Already chemical programs are being formed. Civilians urged to make cotton masks and tank crews warned of the deadly cloud potentially getting in their vehicles. Okay. Uh, new tank revealed. Hector Mark II. Our resources are delayed yet again. Battle of Ruchuru is done. Belgium seizing the battlefield. That's not good. Oh. That's not good. It did not do as well at all. Deployment minus 22. Recon minus 30. Targeting minus for the six pounders, but the machine gun did well. Hit was okay ish. Ricochet was good. Penetration was good. Damage was so bad that we didn't do any. I can't even click it. And repairs was okay. Well, okay, now there's only 14 of them left. The female mark one is done. Which means, Ooh, I want to go get that light naval gun. Yeah, I want the light naval gun. Start on that. 64 days. Well, we can do engineering now. And we can do turret. The female. We'll do that. The turret door mark 2 and the turret hatch mark 2. Female sponsor mark two. All right, assign that.
And we can also go into the Design Bureau, I suppose, and create a sign for the medium width. Yeah. It's going to be a sucky design, but at least we've started something. All right, and this is going to be hmm, house cat mark. Right, let's assign that. Oh, we need a... Uh, uh, there's no commander here. So that's great. So driver. A gunner. A gunner. And a mechanic. Wow. This tank is going to suck so hard. Um, let's do tracer ammo, standard ammo, and uh, 047 petrol. Paint, we'll go with the camouflage. Assign that. Oh, <laughs> we can't even do this. We can't even make this. Okay. Well, that's that then. A new trade agreement has been signed between Spain and the Ottoman Empire. All right. Female Sponson has been engineered. Uh, we're already researching there. Now, I don't suppose, is there anything? Uh, I don't suppose there's anything that we can do to reduce costs it doesn't seem like it what if we look at the administration reduction of maintenance for all buildings in your factory grounds see that is what we're looking for Reduction of construction time. Reduction of bank rates. Hmm. Reduction of construction costs for all facilities. Uh, I mean, this maintenance office seems like a good idea, right? Build that. Arrival tank captured. All right. We've captured a Fenrir House A. All right. And we want to reverse engineer. There are no arrival tanks available. Okay. Fine then. Nuke tank contract. Nice. Uh, the Vanguard tank, 20 tanks. Uh, let's do the contract first. Success score, 849. We haven't even selected a tank yet. 550. That's fine. Mm. 
We are above in everything. So that's good. We'll increase the price of the tank until we are right there. 32.5. So basically the same as before. And it cost us 16,666 to produce. All right. My Bobcat Mark 2. We want 18. We can't do 18. We can do 12. 10. Sorry. So uh, assign that. That'll take 18 days. Do we have more stuff on the way we do in seven days it'll so it'll arrive all right they we won the bid we're going to order more straight away from africa nine thousand eight thousand 3,000, 5,000, just do 500, sign that order, new tank uh, from Daimler, uh, can we do reverse engineering right now, nope, Okay, that sucks. Battle of Makoku between the German Empire and France. A new non-aggression treaty has been signed between France and the Ottoman Empire. Italy and the Ottoman Empire have signed that as well. We will produce another eight. Bobcat twos. My cat is going bonkers. All right, we got our supplies. We don't have anything to engineer right now. Germany and France have done there. All right, we can send out our tanks. All right, plenty of time. And Seven day delay, but we have plenty of time, right? Yeah, the 12th of June, so more than enough time. I think we'll go into the production hall and just start building up a little bit of a stock of the Bobcat Mark II because that is by far our best tank right now. So let's just do 10 more of those. And Battle of Fugamu between Germany, German Empire and France. New tank, Athena Mark III from William Foster. New trade agreement between Switzerland and Bulgaria. New trade agreement between Serbia and Italy. And there we go. We have delivered our tanks. Wonderful. So that's 650,000. We're solvent again. And we are going to order more stuff. Um, I'm wondering if I should order a bit of a bigger order from the from North America. Just to 
keep our stock up. Now let's do Africa. 9,000, 7,000, 2,000, high carbon steel, 7,800. We're running very low on that. No glass. Sign that order. Now I'm actually wondering, what does the tank depot do? Oh, storage capacity for tanks, stockpile depot, loading, speed unloading, safety unloading, speed station, scrap depot, supply depot, truck freight. It's not really necessary. What I really like... 25% redu reduction of resource delivery time. That's quite nice. But what I'd really like is another supply line. Which I'm not sure how we can get. I need to figure that out. Maybe I need to upgrade everything once or something? I don't know. I do not know. Alright, there's the maintenance cost reduction and our light naval gun is done as well. So that's that done. Uh, kind of thinking the inline engine. Mm. Or maybe. No, let's do the bolted assembly. It'll take 55 days. All right. And there we have 10 more Bobcat Mark IIs ready. So that's good. But I think we're, we're going to hold off on building anything else. For now, just save up a bit of money because we, we don't have any contracts right now. We have, if we go to the world map, well, that is very, uh, like, I just have to think about touching my mouse wheel and it zooms all the way in. But the British Empire now has uh, three tank corps, or four, four uh, tank battalions. The second battalion has been in combat and done okay-ish, but it has lost eight tanks. So I'm wondering if, they, if they're going to uh, order some more. I wonder, I wonder. All right. But, I mean, we are the only ones with tanks in uh, on the field for, uh, and in, in any uh, uh, tank regiment, actually, for, for England. So that's good. Uh, do they have any tank powers? No. I wonder if we can sell to France. I think that would be nice. But for now, we are out of time. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.